Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Nerds at Large reaction to the Sony PlayStation State of Play, October 27th. I am one of the Nerds at Large, Jeff Mayo, and this is the other one that's always here, Darby Hallman. Can't get rid of me. Not that easy. No, I tried. tried. Maybe the poison will kick in eventually. <laughs> mm. But Darby, State of Plays. It is happening. Is it, is it time for video games to finally be publicly executed? We're gonna, we're gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. All video games are banned. Yeah, yeah. The, the state of play is the state of video games here. And yeah, mm. they will be banned. No problem. It's finally happening. And they've had it too good for too long. It's true, if we're being honest. Yeah. What are you expecting from this here Vidmo game thing? Uh, obviously, a little devil inside. They said that it's going to be here. We talked about it on the podcast we recorded last night that is out now. Um, but we're, we both think there's a very good chance Final Fantasy 16 will appear here. Um, beyond that, uh, I'm not 100% sure what else. We could get like Stray or something. Good. Little updates. Little update on that. Um. You know, with all these multiverses, the WB Smash game leaked, you know, maybe it'll be here. You never know. They seem to like having WB stuff at Sony Fest, Sony things. Yeah. Um, I guess we, I mean, we don't really, we don't, I mean, it, it does seem like everything, all the stuff coming out right now makes you think it's soon, but the announcement of that game is not necessarily imminent just True. because we're seeing leaks for it you know it could still be announcement could still be a ways away a ways away or it could be immediate who knows um yeah uh yeah outside a little devil and psycho obviously no but uh, i i really do think final Fantasy 16 will probably be here i'm not going to be like absolutely flabbergasted if it's not but i do yeah. expect it to be here um but if not that then probably one other biggish Hogwarts legacy maybe third party. yeah that's possible I'm, I'm just trying to think of the big third party games that they've kind of been um, we know they have the marketing rights for that we haven't seen in a bit right you know because yeah, obviously like I mean I, they don't even have the marketing rights to it but I'm like, thinking of big games on the horizon that we just saw all the Warner Brothers other Warner Brothers stuff with the yeah. um, Gotham and Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. That could certainly make sense. Um, yep. I struggle to think of too many other big things. Yeah, could right, be a new announcement. Could be a surprising announcement. Who knows? Could be. And yeah, I mean, I think it's fair to go into the expectation for this for one big thing at the end. It could be. Would it be a re-reveal? I don't even know if this would be the big thing. But it could be that um, la apparent, apparent The Last of Us multiplayer standalone game. The, the only reason I actually noted that is because they, they mentioned third party specifically for this. So, fair. Well, I guess we'll find out in about 15 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> M rated games. <laughs> Look, that console no one can buy. We have another spectacular show of guts, glory, and gore for you today. This 
destroy your enemies. Give me Destruction All-Star vibes. <laughs> it's, like, it's obviously very different gameplay, but... You know. It's, uh, yeah, it's giving me that, um... Very just uh, lowest common denominator kind of budget, kind of... Soulless. Might be talked about for the first Multiple week of release, now. but then... May never again. Yeah. Feels pretty soulless. It's in your game. <laughs> this looks like about the font. Got it, senpai. Did you say senpai? I believe so. It's actually the new Suda game. Mm. Death first. Let it die. Would you, <laughs> would you just let it die? Yep. Yeah. That was your first look at Deathverse. Let it die. The Coming sequel to, to Death Loop. PS5 next year. Now, let's listen in on a recording session with We Are OFK. It was the boy band game, right? War. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen it war several sucks. times. In a it world never changes. War, nope, it sucks, Jeff. War is, um, just doesn't have anything to do with politics or race or imperialism. Out there, we look to each other and to our thick arms. You done? And you're like, how did they get them that thick? Is this like an alternate reality where arms are just that thick? Or are they robot arms? Our True. last hope is arms. <laughs> Luca, arms. focus. Okay, okay, sorry, for real. PlayStation promo time. Yep. I'm just supposed to introduce our band and the game about our band, right? Ooh, can we do something fun with it? Like, can we be like... Why is it called State of Play? What are we, the president? The, what are we, the- We've talked about these jokes. Hey, you. Hi, we're still driving. Jay, I heard back from the mix engineer and she's cool with getting song stems on Sunday. Itsu, how's the PlayStation blog post going? Are hashtags too much? I, I wanna reach more people, but I don't think I trust people who use hashtags. Uh, Itsu, mm -hmm. you're the best at this. I'm proud of you. I just do things. Carter, What's with the ghost cat? What working on? It's just a, it's a video game, Jeff. Filter I cooked up for you, you can't have a video game without a ghost cat. Sound like a demon? Hmm. Okay. Uh, give me one more run through and we'll take a proper break, yeah? Okay, hi. We Are OFK is a new music biopic game about us, the indie pop group OFK. It's a five episode series about how we started the band here in Los Angeles and how so far we have not screwed it up. You get dialogue choices and texting and flirting, and each episode lets you play an interactive you can music date these video boys, of Jeff. a new song from our debut oh. EP. That's five episodes, five songs. And if you join our mailing list today, you get a life-size cutout of our whole band wearing nothing but PlayStation 5 DualSense controllers. Oh, God. No. Nope. Okay, the cutout is still TBD, but We Are OFK is coming to PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 in 2022. The future. The future. Thick arms. We are OFK. Only the thickest okay, arms in around you. here. We next, will not. Team at Young Horses shares well, a big update. Let's go. Speaking of thick arms, thick hot dog arms. Bunger, bunger. Finally, the best character's back. Character big here. Bunger. He got hot arms. Giant bug snacks. Gosh. We might be witnessing a prehistoric species somehow preserved at the bottom of the ocean. We need to form an expedition. Together. Uh, bro? 
Has anybody seen my hat? Snacks with hats? That's a dog. They got hats now. That's all you oh, need. Yep. For, that'll be forty dollars, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious how this. And that's not all, buddy. Ta-da! We finally finished your huts. So keep checking your mail, do some redecorating, and before Animal you know, Crossing. This will feel yep. like home. Bug Crossing. Can we stop wasting time and get on with this expedition before I'm as old as I wonder if you gotta replay the game to do all this. Right. A brave danger approaches. <laughs> Again, the way to play games is to wait like a year or two after release and then you can play the full actual like better version like uh Son of Five Royal or like mm -hmm. so if you're smart, that's how Big you play. Big free update, let's go. Hey Longer. Five Nights at Freddy's fans. We've got a security breach. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for visiting, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Freddy and the gang are pretty tired, but they'll be back again next week after a few days of scheduled maintenance. Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex is now closed, initiating nighttime protocols. No, no! Wait, I'm still here! People? <laughs> Human being? Oh shit. You should be able to escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. Until then, keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. If there is another way out, I will help you find it. I promise. I expect Please the musical number the at the end. Of oh, course. Cool. Where you will be given novelty glasses, a voucher for one free soda refill, and where you will sign a legal disclaimer releasing us. I wonder how wild the Five Nights at Freddy's lore has gotten visit. since I actually awesome was like night. looking we'll into it. Again yeah. soon. Very casual. Probably Would pretty you like wild. To take a short hmm. survey about your experience. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Battle beasts and demigods in a challenging action RPG coming soon to PlayStation. Let's take a look. Let's. Oh. Dev store. Huh. Bird souls. Crow souls. Yes. Is it just coming to the new platform? Yeah, there we go. Online opponents await in these I multiplayer didn't realize games it wasn't coming on to PS4 and PS5. I even PC switch. Uh, Maybe Xbox. So I, I could... think they had the marketing things for it. Well, site like this is gonna be a worse Mario. <laughs> but it's Mega Man. Oh, is it all Mega Man? No, it isn't. The, the, the little blue guy just kind of looks like Mega Man. It does. Remix, remix, remix. <laughs> what do we want to worry about that? What? <laughs> a lot of streamers win. Like these licensed song play, like remix, remix. Yeah, they're like. I'm going to even remix. I wonder if it's too close. Yep.
Banapula glasses. Yeah. Take that, Mario Kart. That could be fun. Never gonna touch it, but you know. All you know. expectations. Oh fuck. Your expectations shattered yet? Yep, shattered. Yeah. You know what this is yet? No. King of Fighters. Ah. Just the guy's voice at the beginning. I was worried it was fucking strangers in there. <laughs> Max like, oh fuck, oh fuck! Oh, Is it a beta that's now? That be an announcement. Yeah, we're getting maybe close to the point where if we don't um, see Little Devil inside, that's the thing. That <laughs> we're getting close well. to that territory. Yeah, it could be. Fifteen entries of a game. Jesus Christ. Crikey. That's a lot of games. Escape is futile. Looks like you're in need of your medicine. Hi everyone, I'm Niels, also known as Vitabert. Hi everyone, I'm Emily, also known as Norstef. Today, we're excited to share First Class Trouble with you. First Class Trouble uh, is This game's rumored to be on PlayStation Plus next featuring month. ...featuring a dangerous cocktail of difficult decisions and wacky possibilities. Before you hop into a match, check out the range of customization options available to you. As you play, you'll unlock even more, so don't forget to come mm -hmm. back to your wardrobe from time to time. Let's check out that recent match we played. That was a good one. When the round begins, you'll be assigned a secret role of either a resident or a personoid. So this is me, I played as a resident in this game, and my goal was to reach Kane at the heart of the ISS Alicea. And I got to play as a personoid, so my game was all about deception and traps, stopping the residents at all costs. Great outfit that you have on there. Thank you. The most important question is, who can you trust? Yeah, exactly, and I thought you and I were working together. I know, right? <laughs> Sometimes going with your gut doesn't work out. Sorry, Dave. I don't have that problem. You sabotaged the oxygen. Well done. When a system is sabotaged or a trap is sprung, this is a good time to start casting doubt on the loyalty of the other residents. Yeah, you had me so convinced. You did such a great job, I even helped you take him out. You really got me on this game. I never suspected you at any point. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, here it is. Gotcha! I realized too late. Whether you're a person or a resident, your social oh, no, production you skills me. and strategy are the key late. to survival. Good luck, everyone. And remember, be careful who you trust, because in first-class trouble, cocktails last longer than friendships. Work together to avoid disaster when first-class trouble arrives to PS4 and PS5 next month. PlayStation Plus members will be able to download the PS4 and PS5 versions at no extra cost starting November 2nd. I haven't downloaded a PS Plus game in probably a year. <laughs> okay, here we go. Maybe. Even though this was looking too futuristic. Yeah. Scanning craft. Pen Galactic yeah, way too futuristic. The That's some, an some anime boy. Yep. Thrusters to full power. There's no time. Abandon ship. All crew members get to an escape. I'm running, I'm running How many people the... are pissed? They saw square. I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to run through the square properties to figure out what the fuck it could be. I feel like I should know what this is. And, and something... then once it's gonna come up, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah. And there's something start. It looks very. Is it Xeno something? Because it looks very Xenoblade environment. Yeah. 
Didn't you, wasn't there a Xeno something remake we were talking yeah. about? Could, could this be that? Man, that it'd be quite the big change, but it, I mean, I mean, you were, so you were saying remake yeah. when you said that. Were, were they? They weren't talking about that being blue point, right? Someone else, I'm guessing. Are you quite all right? That's the only thing that makes sense to me. It had those arches, like yeah. it looked like a very Xeno, and the um, just the character designs, the weapons, everything looks very Xeno, Blade or Xeno, all the Xenos. Yeah. That's my guess. Damn near the full Federation fleets moving in on us. My character faces look a little whack, but the overall thing is what my is jam. Which, which is the thing? Xeno Gears? It's the Gears. Okay, got it. But the characters like, definitely look different than the Gears characters, but I might be wrong on that. I might have completely redesigned them. I am certain your journey into the stars above. It looks like a Jeff ass game. It's true. It definitely has Zeno vibes. That's my guess, which is the Sony thing we were talking yeah. about. Were they talking about that being like a Sony project? Yeah. Should they descend upon us now? If you dare turn your back to this, I swear I'll destroy the Federation ship by ship until there's not a damn thing left. Yeah, we ain't getting 16. The Divine Force. Oh, Star Ocean. Duh. Okay. <laughs> That, was, I, I was and it crossed my mind. I'm like, but wait. <laughs> I was trying to come up with that. I was about to start just saying, I was like, I had like that in mind that I like, couldn't come up with the name enough. So I'm like, I'm just going to start saying Space Star stuff. That, I was, I was saying Star Ocean, but for some reason, I was blanking on if it was Square or not. Yeah, I never knew. It just seemed like it could be a Square game. Here's a little devil. Definitely interested. I enjoyed playing Star Ocean when I was young. Obviously, it looks like Jeff Shet again. The Didn't character even... faces could use some work. But... Yeah. I mean, it looks way more. I think they made one not too long ago. I mean, this looks mm -hmm. definitely more ambitious. Thomas the Tank Engine. Though I guess I will say, as far as the potential of something else, they didn't say this the last thing. Like they kind of. Yeah. So. Who knows. But I'm happy we got to see this game. Now, which part of the body is like this in? Any other day, Billy sets out on another job. This time to the anus. Of course. Looks like he's reading the letter he received. The job seems simple enough. Billy arrives at Cornfield Station. He needs to meet Professor Vincent, who should be nearby. Oh, there's an old lady up ahead. During travel, you can engage with various people. Sometimes to buy goods, or simply ask for directions. On certain occasions, the crew is available so to travel like together. an overworld map, I guess. Yeah. During world map travel, you can encounter various events. Some bigger than others. In this case, a flock of sheep blocking the road. Ooh, so we all have flocks of sheep inside our bodies? <laughs> yes. That are, we are the sheep. Looks like they have arrived near the we're inside someone else's body. We're inside someone else's, someone else's body. Yeah, you're right. Mansion to I, I'm already a gay frog now. Task, yeah. Of course. He's greeted by who seems like the owner. The job is to pick up a mysterious artifact and deliver it to Professor Vincent. Looks like it's kept in the mansion's basement. Leaving behind the unsettling signs on the wall, Billy enters the basement chamber. <laughs> well, it turns out that the job is not going to be so simple after all. Ever since leaving the mansion, strange-looking creatures constantly appear. Here he is, surrounded by a mob. 
Striking and sticking the blade into enemies to pull and throw them around. No. <laughs> Do you mind now? Travels, Billy needs to resort the to his survival instincts and make use of whatever he has to survive. Often being exposed to the harsh <laughs> side of Mother Nature. It's cute. A desert environment is one such place. Finding safe places to camp and cooking up food is all part of the journey. This time, a sub-zero climate. And worse, caught in a snow blizzard. Struggling that's just what it looks like when you're traveling on the overworld. <laughs> just <literally laughs> what will be the oh. fate? Lead Billy throughout his journey. And imagine what he has to face. Some expect it, more often not. Oh my. He just wanted to be your friend. Welcome to the world of Little Devil Inside. That's our show. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this <laughs> peek into what's to come on PlayStation. No. See window even. Damn. Looks cute. Yeah, yeah. Well, yep. nothing too crazy. <laughs> yep. We need the little devil inside. I guess not yeah. Certain not really not really worth the show, honestly, but you know, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cute little thing, buzz snacks. Yeah, getting that little thing is exciting. Um Starship game looks neat. My jam. Yeah, the environments look um very cool. I mean, I no, I understand, and I understand like why you thought it was might have been that Zeno. Yeah, Zeno. I, I, I was, did, like you mentioned this, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does look. But kind of but then I thought I was like, no, well, I've seen the characters for that, and this is definitely not them. Yeah, you would know more than me for yeah. sure. I, there was like th that was the series that like I was I was trying to think of that, but it was like I I knew so little and it was like I can't even come up with a close enough to the name that I would have just started shouting space type names at you. Yeah, it, it crossed my mind, but for some reason I was like f thinking like, wait, it's not square, is it? they're not square, are they? But it's Starship, I guess. Yeah, it, exactly. It's been a while since I've thought about that series. <laughs> Which I mean, is Zeno? Oh, wait, I guess is is even Zeno Gears Square? I mean, yes. I guess okay. It, it was there. back in the days when Monolith Soft were kind of their own thing, where pretty much every company got a Zeno game. <laughs> so like Square owned Zeno Gears, Namco, Zeno Saga, obviously oh, yeah. Zeno Blade for Nintendo. Yeah, it is always weird. Uh, yeah, Zeno Blade is obviously in Nintendo. And, and, thing and, and, and like in the and they're connected, <laughs> like it's in weird, loose yeah, ways. It's weird that they're. It's a Nintendo IP, and it's really the only one that's still alive right now. So if you're someone like me, it's like that's the only one you think of. And you, there's these old ones that it's like, mm -hmm. wait a minute, are these connected? They look like they're connected. <laughs> it's like they, yeah. Which, Obviously, Cosmos is in Xenoblade too. So they, I mean, fun little Easter egg thing just, more. But you know, I wonder what the rights are like for a character like Cosmos. I mean, is straight up, it's straight up Bamco owns the character, okay. and they just let Nintendo use it basically. pretty much because it's. New. I mean, I mean, they use them in like crossover promotion stuff. They mm. Cosmos is one of those characters they just use for that stuff, like in um, pro, the cross zone or whatever that one was. Um, mm. That crossover thing was they will use her for stuff like that. But Zeno Blade is a Nintendo owned IP. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one hundred percent. I love we're talking about this game that wasn't even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but again, Star Star is definitely the highlight for me. That that looks cool. Again, faces as, for some of the characters aside, just what was going on the combat and stuff look cool. Traversal, the yeah. world looks neat. There's like that level of game where it's weird, where like. The some of the like some like mid tier ish games can have like really really impressive environments, but then there's like yeah the character models are a little lacky. So it's like it's kind it, of budget, but it also looks breathtaking in other ways. It's just not consistent. Well, it looks like a more stuff. action combat y um ish um Xenoblade Chronicles X, just the way it looked mm -hmm. like in even compared to other Xenoblade games. That's what it reminded me of. Yeah, I would wonder. I wonder how big of a step this was from like I just remember it was a. I mean, it was probably longer ago than I think. I think it was like 2016 or something. I remember there being a Star Ocean yeah, game. Yeah, I, I think people I'll like, do my research and bring it up to the podcast. You know, we'll mention. I wonder if this bit. is another example of one of these more niche um, JRPG type um, franchises that they're trying to 
that they're looking at um Dragon Quest and Persona and this mm-hmm. and be like, let's try to get the West or you know, let's try to yeah. put a bunch of money into this and tails and you know, mm-hmm. let's try to put a bunch of money into this. Could see that, and they probably purposely tried to put it in front of um what they assume is gonna be a lot of people tuning into this state of play. Um you know, turns out I think they got, well, they got what, I, what a, I hate yeah. about it is and it's it is I don't even necessarily saying it's like Sony's fault or anything or anyone's fault particularly, but I do hate it that Star Ocean's gonna get more flack because yeah. everyone's going in here expecting Final Fantasy 16. They see Square, get excited for a second, immediately do it, and then it's the internet, so they'll hate on that game in particular, like yeah. it took away 16 from them. Yeah. I agree. When obviously that's not the case, and that sucks. <laughs> it is not. Yeah, the I, it is like Little Devil Inside is cool, and what they showed was cool. I thought we might have gotten a little more like crazy I, well, stuff I wanted, with it. Oh, and some more. I mean, that was, yeah, that kind of just seems like very basic. Stuff. A trailer still. I mean, it was it was definitely a trailer that was going through a little bit more. You know, the yeah. world map and some other things, but for sure, it doesn't seem like that much more than what could have been showed before. Yeah, Especially least... for a game that apparently had a release date and they just never said anything for as far as I know. Oh, yeah, do we even. Did we like even get July? a year at the end of no, that? No, we got nothing. And that was supposed to come out in July, and I think it yeah. just like they just stopped saying anything. So yeah, I don't like, even think they even sit, like they even delayed it. It just July so. came and went, and people yeah. were like, "Okay, <laughs> what about that game?" And so yeah. yeah, now for it to come back up and still nothing is weird. Yeah, I mean, for all we know, with this these PlayStation conferences, you probably look on Twitter and they announce the date there. Some shit, and who knows? Yeah, they're they definitely <laughs> going to. I, you know, I think people were. I was going to think we might be a little pessimistic of, you know, we get that one big game, but it's like, oh, well, we didn't get that in comparison to other state of plays. Like, that little yeah. devil insight's cool, but... For sure. I mean, that's... My, I, I, my I, like, I think with... it was fair for people to expect, like, Hogwarts Legacy yeah, no, of Final Fantasy my whole thing would My whole thing with state of play in general, I just think that as a whole, it's kind of a failed it's been a failed concept for Sony because there's just really no consistency with it. Yeah, it, it feels and well, and it feels like the vast ma- well, yeah, that most the vast majority of them for the the things they call state of plays, where it's just the general thing with a bunch of games shown. It feels like a lot of times, yeah, it's like a twenty to thirty ish minute affair. Where especially when the games, no matter how cool they look. You look at that collection, it's like, okay, it seems like they kind of justified this presentation for whatever the last game is. Yeah. Just so yeah. they can have their name attached to that announcement. It just, it almost feels like they got to like five or six announcements and they're like, okay, time for a state of the play and didn't really judge yeah. anymore. It's just like, we got to six. Yeah. It's what like, are the six? I don't care. Put them in the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they knew the little demo inside devs. They're talking to them. It's like, okay, we have something to show. And they were looking around. It's like, okay, Buzz Snacks, we have an update. Yeah. They, they can make a trailer, Five Nights of Freddy's and these couple other little things like okay we'll just throw something together real quick. yeah i mean part of it is me i think i'm just getting over these small presentations like the, the this is the type of thing i would prefer to just see on twitter and be like oh, okay cool look a little, mm-hmm. a little update this thing or whatever i like the game awards and the other like big things like that but i'm i'm pretty over the like tiny state of plays and tiny nintendo directs and stuff i mean i think nintendo is better about um, it's still not perfect, but they're better about you know, a direct meaning more of the same thing that there's more consistency between those yeah. state of plays can be huge and it can be next to nothing. And there's, it's impossible to tell which is which. Oh, even the, even the huge ones, it feels like a lot of time it's either, it's because of one game at the end. And yeah. if you, you don't like that one particular game, then it's like, okay. Yeah. But at least like, yeah, I don't know. Like as much as bug snacks gets me excited. It's like, that that's the exact kind of thing you mentioned could have just been dropped on Twitter and its fans would be ex- the the same excitement no matter what They're like yeah. that's not gonna bring in new fans right yeah I mean this is the type of thing that like again if we weren't if it wasn't for like podcast content stuff I would probably just stop watching State of Plays altogether and just like get when people are like hey this this cool thing was now it's a bit sweet let's watch it yeah um but yeah as a whole I'm pretty pretty over them personally. I don't know about you. I also watch them. I, I'll feel less likely to maybe slightly go out of my way for a random state of play they announce like this than like a Nintendo Direct, obviously, yeah. when, when they announce a big one. Because even like, yeah, you were mentioning they do a little better. Obviously, some of the big ones are disappointments at times, but they at least have the mini moniker where they kind of... <laughs> they have a <laughs> so differentiator. Yeah. And- 
Sony's just kind of all over the place because then the last thing we had was not a state of play, even though it effectively it was really, it's no different in the sense that none of these state of plays really have consistency. So like that last one could have just been called a state of play and it would have made just as much sense. So like, yeah. why do you have this random other branding? Like, I, I don't understand what's going on here. Yeah. You know, if you're going to have a different branding, make the mean something different from each other. But like that last one, there's no reason why that one was in the state of play and this one was or not or vice yeah. versa. I was, yeah, it's I think strange. the brand of last one is obviously like generally speaking, those are much bigger things. They have like a lot of their bigger first party game that they yeah, are. We've had state of plays for Ghost of Tsushima that had Ghost of Tsushima and Last of Us and stuff like that in yeah. them. I mean, it's like that's happened before. It's really it's between just, like one of again, the, the one big game and multiple of them. It is. Yeah. It's kind of like it does feel like for with whatever Sony's um, presentations are in in particular. It's like the like the games that are in each one. You kind of tell, okay, these are the games Sony really cares about because they're in the big boy one, and then the other ones that are just stuck in like these kind of state of place. It almost feels like they know that the state of plays are just people don't care all that yeah. much about them. I, I do think definitely yeah from here i think the state of plays had been in, inconsistent enough as far as that stuff goes to where when people hear generic state of play at this point they're gonna be like eh, okay yeah i mean that's how even I'll more be. So. yeah, yeah. Be like, but it's, it's now more people because i again i feel like people were justified in getting excited for the potential of like 16 mm -hmm. being here mm -hmm. But, but yeah, I mean, from here on out, yeah, I mean, it's still, even, even if 16 was here, I would like see on Twitter, 16 was announced, I'm like, sweet, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it was time. You know, yeah. I was here. I didn't have anything else to do. That's usually my thought process on this stuff. Yeah. I might as well. Yep, yep. All righty. Well, you'll hear us say some more words about some of this, probably like bug snacks and shit. Yeah, Star Wars should do a little research podcast. on that. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I'm sure we'll talk a little bit about a little devil inside, Bugs yeah. and Axe, and Star Ocean. You on the podcast, now will be a good time. Yep. I, I do I find it funny. We had that conversation about metaverses last night, and then immediately it's like, okay, here's a leaked roster. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, we'll definitely be talking about We're that. We're not footage, picture. Yeah. We'll definitely be talking about that. We nailed like, some stuff on there. Yes. And we weren't even trying to. It was just a dream roster. Yeah. Peace.